Hey friends, uh, it's Hal Elrod, and I wanted to give you an update video. I guess this is my second uh, video, and it is now Saturday, November 19th. Uh, I am actually out of the hospital for a few days. I am uh, at an apartment that we got next to the hospital so that I can be close for all of my treatments. I'll probably be here for six months, um, essentially, uh, in doing treatments and trying to go back and forth between home and here. And um, the, uh, but I love the apartment. It, it feels really good, and I, I just it feels good. I feel good. I've got got the got the pics of my my family um, with with me. Uh, I'm actually here with my mom and dad, which is really cool. Mom and dad are taking care of me, which uh, I, I secretly I think they are enjoying it uh, as much as I am. But it is really really nice to have mommy and dad mommy and daddy here, and uh, and then my um, my wonderful wife Ursula. She's uh, back home taking care of our children who have some sniffles right now and she is um, our rock holding down the fort at home. Uh, so I just want to take just, just a few minutes to give you a quick update on kind of my condition. Um, I want to express some, some gratitude and, and, and I want to share with you kind of a, a real fundamental shift in my thinking that's happened here uh, in the last few days. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm in an apartment near the hospital, uh, which and I'll be at. I'm going back into the hospital in a few days. Uh, however, I will be home for Thanksgiving, it looks like. So that's so, so, so excited. Um, I'll be able to actually go home and have Thanksgiving at home with my family. Uh, and mom and dad will be there too. So that's really, really cool. Um, I uh, Oh, I, they did tell me it looks like I'll be losing my hair in a few weeks. So I spiked it. I thought, all right, this might be my last chance to spike my hair. So I, I, I did it up today. I'm feeling good. Although I, right after I spiked it, I was, or I was spiking it and I, I was joking. I was thinking to myself, it's probably this hair glue that caused the cancer. I, I don't know. Probably not. But um, anyway, uh, so also the support that's been coming in, I, my mind is blown. Like I, it's mind blowing. I, I am so humbled and so grateful for your thoughts and your prayers and your posts and your comments and your shares. And it, I just, I'm in awe. I, I'm absolutely speechless. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and here's the fundamental shift that I, that I mentioned a minute ago, which is, uh, I actually, it was a YouTube comment, you know, um, I, 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 I'm having trouble reading through all the comments and, um, but I'm being energized by them. So don't, you know, don't, don't stop. But but I will share, I read a YouTube comment and someone said, it's so nice that you have so much support. You know, what, what a blessing. Um, hopefully you'll pray for someone that doesn't have the level of support that you do. And it was, it was a, I mean, who knew? I mean, one comment, total fundamental shift in my thinking. And I realized uh, as I was being so grateful for the support coming in, my, my focus shift. And I went, uh, there are countless people out there that do not have the level of support that I do, and they they don't have it, they won't have it, and so my thinking has shifted of how can I now pay this forward? How can I um, not just you know I, I'm praying for others that don't have support, but I want it I want it to be tangible. How can I you know whether it's somehow financially or so I, I don't have it all figured out yet. I don't in fact I don't I don't know what that answer is, but I just want uh, you to know and our community to know that that that. Uh, for all of us, I think, is such a fundamental shift is not just being, you know, we, we talk a lot about being grateful for what we have and for our support, um, but that's really limited to us. You know, if I'm grateful for my support, that's great. It may not be helping someone else. So how can, uh, so I, I just want you to know that that's my brain is going now. How can I help people that, that whether it's they have cancer or some other, you know, hardship, and they don't have the network, the community, the love, the support, even the financial support. I'm, I'm already thinking of maybe a nonprofit that I can form and, and any funds that come in uh, that I can redirect. You know, I don't know. Well, let's figure it out. And if you have any ideas on how we can collectively support those that don't have a, a big support network so that they're loved and they're supported and um, and that they've got the financial resources. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we're a good team. We'll, we'll work together on this. Um, so that's it. I think uh, just thank you so much. Oh, and oh, la one more. I can't forget this. Best year ever blueprint is still happening uh, December 9th through 11th. I've had a few people reach out and go, is the best year ever uh, live event? Is it canceled? Um, it is not canceled. It is still happening um, December 9th through 11th. I don't know for sure if I will be there. Um, 
I will be there in some way, either in spirit, uh, via Skype video. I'll be there in some way uh, live. I'm not sure about that. If I can, if the doctors approve it, you better believe I'll find a way. But um, we, uh, yeah, we got some amazing announcements. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin any surprises. But uh, best year ever blueprint. It is happening in December. So if you have your ticket, it's going to be a life changing experience. And there are, I think, 50 spots left. So if you don't know what it is or you want to know, uh, it's uh, bestyeareverlive.com and um, watch the video. It's it's pretty amazing. If you want a life changing uh, experience in San Diego, uh, check it out. But um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for the love, for the support, and uh, let's work together on how, how, can we, how can we help others? How can we pay that forward? How can we support the unsupported? Um, that's what I'm, I'm trying to focus on uh, right now. So I love you. Thank you so much, and um, I'll talk to you soon.